going to vlog anyway. Uh, this is gonna be a very like 35 millimeter film photography focused <laughs> vlog. Uh, I've been posting a lot of my film pictures on Instagram and my TikTok, but I haven't really updated you on YouTube, so I thought why not make a 35 millimeter film photography vlog. Uh, so I just finished a roll of film on my Fujifilm Zoom Date 110 Easy. I don't know why I forgot the name of that, uh, but I had um, Kodak Ultramax 400 in here. And so I'm gonna go to the photo lab, drop that off. Hopefully I can get the photos within a couple hours. Usually if I drop it off right when they open, I can get it same day. But I wanted to talk about this camera as well. I actually found this, or Raleigh found this when we were hunting in Salvation Army. It's the Minolta Freedom Family Zoom. And it was only $5. I thought, why not see if it works? Um, it turned on <laughs> and I was able to load it. So I put a test roll of Fujifilm Superior Extra 400 in here, and I am still working on the roll. I don't know, it hasn't really been a priority. I've been like just doing other things. Uh, so I think we'll finish the exposures on here. Uh, maybe we'll turn in the roll of film first. I would really like to go to the beach. We've been uh, swimming every, <laughs> every day uh, because we live near the beach, and it's just been really nice to go out and enjoy the summer. It was really gloomy <laughs> at first, uh, at the beginning of the summer, so I felt like it wasn't really summer. I was trying my best to feel like it was. Uh, so we've been swimming every day. It's been really nice, uh, or just at least in the mornings before work, waking up really early. So I think maybe we'll go to the beach, swim for a little bit, uh, turn in this roll of film. Hopefully I can just shoot it really quick. Hopefully I'm feeling inspired. And then, yeah. We'll see what else we get up to when we finish getting ready. And let's get the day started. yesterday just in these plastic protectors that I keep in my binder and the roll of film that I had is this one is uh, color plus I took when I was with my family they visited and we went to Disneyland uh, so I took a bunch of film pictures and I definitely want to keep them and the other roll of film that I have is a test roll I was testing out a new film stock which is Kodak Ektar 100. Uh, I've heard really good things about that film, just that it's very high saturation, high contrast. Um, but I did notice that when I took flash pictures inside the apartment, it came across very overexposed on my point and shoot because I can't really adjust the settings there. But 
Yeah, it came out a little bit overexposed, uh, but we also shot some golden hour shots at the beach with this, and I love how the colors turned out. They turned out so nice. It is a little bit more expensive than Color Plus and uh, Superior, so I don't think I'll shoot that all the time. Also, I'm just not really that great at shooting film yet. Uh, so I don't want to be blowing all my money on expensive film stocks when I'm still kind of trying to learn the basics. But yeah, I'm just putting this away so I can keep them nice and hopefully maybe make some prints. Um, I definitely want to print some of these out so I can just hang more of my film pictures in the apartment. Uh, but oh. Uh, the Minolta that I was testing, I already shared a couple photos, but I decided to give this camera away. Um, I thought my point and shoot was very automatic, but on my point and shoot, I can kind of adjust the auto exposure settings, or I can adjust the exposure settings and turn the flash on and off and stuff like that. And there's a timer. This one just has an on off button, so it really is very, very similar to a disposable camera. It's almost exactly like one, except you can reload it. It's also very bulky. So I decided to give that away to someone on Instagram. I think they'll appreciate it more than I will. Also wanted to share this new point and shoot that I found at the exact same antique shop that I bought my Fuji film. And I bought this for Raleigh because his SLR jammed. So we're getting it repaired right now. And the camera shop said that it's going to take four weeks at minimum to get it fixed. So I bought this for him uh, to have in the meantime so he can still practice shooting film. It's a Canon SureShot 70 zoom. And when I picked it up, it looks like everything is in working order. You kind of just slide this to the side and it opens up. It has the same exposure settings that mine has. It's pretty much the exact same as mine. And then when I opened this up, it looked like everything was in working order. Um, I cleaned it a little, but I think I might clean it a little bit more before I load it with something for him. And we'll probably use one of our cheaper film stocks uh, to make sure that nothing's wrong with it or doesn't have any issues. So that's the newest addition to the family. And I also bought um, a new film stock to try, so Cinestill. 800 tungsten. This is supposed to be really good for night shots, um, indoor lighting, and just like low light situations in general. So I'm excited to try this out. And yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna work on next. That's my next like passion project. But I just wanted to share those. And then, like I said, I'm gonna get rid of this baby. I was hopeful that because it was $5 that it was just gonna be something that I had on hand, but I don't know, like I said, I, I don't think I'm going to appreciate it as well because it's just very, very automatic and I'd like to have a little bit con of control and it's just too bulky. Uh, this one is, it's a little bit smaller and it's just not as like thick. Like this one was very, very hardy <laughs> to carry around and this one is almost exactly like my Fuji film. So no, Raleigh and I both have cameras and it's easy to carry around. It's getting very hot in here with the summer weather and I felt like I was just geeking out about film cameras and film stocks and rambling and stuff like that. Uh, but if you have any questions about, I guess, my journey and how I'm, how I'm learning how to do this, please feel free to ask. I'm not an expert, but I will try my best to answer. I'm just having so much fun kind of learning the process of this and it takes a lot of focus and patience which I don't think I had enough of before I started this hobby. Also, just exploring, shooting, waiting for the film to come back is a special kind of happiness that I had no idea existed. Uh, but that's beside the point. I just like sharing this with you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to make another video like this and I will see you in the next one. Bye.